So today we are bringing you guys another subscriber game and if you look at our opponent This was the gentleman that completely destroyed us uh, Last week when we uploaded the video where we uh, was toying around with the Chiefs playbook I think I had the Bears. I really don't remember who he had but he completely molly whopped him. He was like 24 to like zero. I don't even think I scored to be honest. I'm not sure but uh, he is in the top 1,000 in online ranked match. He is an online ranked guy. And uh, so definitely, you know, running with the playbook, I'm more accustomed to. Hopefully, we can have some more success against him this game than we did last game where he completely destroyed us. So we went with the Dolphins. I definitely like the, the Dolphins offense. You know, they just have a lot of speed, which I like with Miller and Wallace and Tannehill. Definitely can get loose as well. A lot of finesse and shiftiness. That I enjoy, you know, utilizing. You know, as you guys know, slants, drags, keep it short, and make some moves, and that's how it is I play. So right here on third and five, we decide to roll out, and we just have enough speed to be able to sneak by the pass rusher, and we do end up picking up the first down. Right here, oh one trap doesn't do anything for us. Right here, we're standing in the pocket, and whoop, quick little reroute right there, and we end up finding Wallace. It breaks the tackle. But does get tackled immediately after. So right here we go to the counter with Miller. And we try to just get away in there. But we can't. We get stopped at the one yard line. And we end up diving over the top four. Our first score of the game. So here we go back again defensively. Where uh, again last time we played him. He did a really good job of just moving the ball. Now granted we were just calling. You know stock cover twos and threes and stuff like that. But still nonetheless as good as zones play. He was just completely destroying us. So hopefully. We can have some better success. So on third and six right here, he goes underneath and he picks up the first down. Good job of him by being able to find that route wide open. So right here, I'm going over there towards the left trying to cover him. And then he throws over there and, ah, man, I just couldn't get there fast enough. So he decides to run the ball and we end up stopping that. So at this point, it's just like maybe hold him to a field goal. That would be huge. He goes over the top, try to hit a post over the middle, but thankfully Delmas is like, oh, I got you, son. No, some of you. Give it to me, baby. Huge interception right there. And that right there not only prevents him from scoring, but uh, gives us an opportunity to go up two possessions, which hopefully we can go on ahead and accomplish. So here we go back again, running the ball with Miller, just seeing if we can go on ahead. And, oh, that suction tackle. Seeing if we can hit the outside, because if Miller gets some space, he can run for days. So, nice little spin move right there. I am definitely loving the spin move more and more that I use it. I'm usually just a double juke kind of guy, but them spin moves, as you see, have just been absolutely monstrous for me. Absolutely monstrous. So, we're up 14-0 right here, and he does get a ball at halftime, so he's not out of the game yet. You know, all he has to do is be able to score. And uh, he can definitely bring himself right back in this game as Bell breaks 11 tackles. But thankfully, eventually, we get him down. So uh, it looks like he was just playing it safe, you know, trying to uh, get himself as he misses the throw right there. Just trying to go on ahead and bring it into halftime. But we called the timeout after the second play to see if we could get the ball back. And after that com incompletion, we definitely did get the ball back with 20 seconds, two timeouts. I think that's more than enough time to be able to get uh, into field goal range. All we really need is one or two big plays. So, right, we try to go up top the wall as we got him in. Ah, drops the pass at about the three-yard line. Again, just um, throwing really quickly right over the middle. Right, we do a read option. All I needed was two or three more yards. We actually get six, which sets us up for a field goal. So, we go into halftime up 17-0, uh, to zero, and that right there is definitely a very nice, comfortable lead where we can put the game away possibly with one more stop again. I'm not ruling out anything. A lot of crazy things has happened to me, especially since how unlucky I am. So, uh, you know, another score right here. If we stop him in another score, gives us a good opportunity. We'll go with that. So he picks up a big first down right there, being able to move the ball towards the right sideline. We send a blitz. We get a huge sack, forcing a second and 18. He goes back to the run, and we actually did an excellent job this game of stopping the runs towards the outside and wherever it is he wants to attack the field. We did a very good job of limiting him from being able to uh, get the running game started, which made him pretty much one-dimensional. And uh, even though my defense is butt cheeks, it's definitely a lot easier to stop somebody if you don't have to worry about the run and if they're having a successful run game. So right here, we try to go back up top to Wallace and just slightly new to arm. If he puts it a little bit more ahead of him, we might have had more room to be able to catch that pass. But right there, we pick up the huge first down. We go back to the read option right here <laughs> with a Tannehill. I should have just slid down. You never want to try and run right into Palumalu 
uh, right there. We step forward up in the pocket, and we don't get any yards. Right there, nice little soft throw on the run. Beautiful dot. So fourth quarter is here. I see him trailing right there to be in. I knew he was going to be open, but if you look back, he kind of got chipped while he was running his route right before he hit the middle of the field. He kind of got chipped a little bit by the defender, and he kind of fell down a little bit, and you know he put his hand down to pick himself up. He was a good two or three steps ahead of him, but that small animation slowed him down and let Palomaru catch up to him, and I didn't think he was going to catch up to him. So, I mean, good uses by him, but that small little stumble definitely prevented that pass from happening right here at third down we just try to go to a screen try to catch him off guard but unfortunately we don't get uh anything going so uh he's in good position here you know all of his timeouts remaining you know he can score here make it a one possession game even if it's a field goal just make it a one possession game and try and see what happens from there so uh right here he does a, just a big mistake not being able to get rid of the ball at least throw it out of bounds he takes a sack forces a second and 28 right there it's a fumble and uh he gets out of the end zone with it but now it's third and 30 and then out of just desperation trying to make something happen he throws right into brent grimes and that right there is an interception that right there should be able to put the game away as long as we don't have any turnovers right here get ourselves the first down or two one way outside with lamar miller and there's that spin move i've been utilizing right there so he doesn't call any timeout. we go back to the screen and we don't pick up the first down because he just jumped right over the dang uh, defender so he calls the timeout. we kick a field goal so uh, he would need a touchdown to receive his onside kick and another touchdown in order to win the game. So uh, that right there pretty much stopped anything of him being able to do anything. He took a shot, and I mean a shot. He ran right into him. We clicked on and hit that man with the hit stick of death. And uh, legend has it that he is still not moving to this day. I'm not sure. Uh, right there, we end up getting big hit right into the one-yard line, but... He doesn't call a timeout. He pretty much understands that, you know, game is pretty much over. So we end up kicking our field goal going up 23-7. to And this right here definitely is a good, good um, redemption game. Considering last week he destroyed us. He beat the hell out of us. So this week we come back with the victory. And it definitely feels good to be able to... Uh, get that uh get a victory after last week's loss so that's the end of the video guys hopefully you guys enjoyed love each and every single one of you guys it's your boy gs and we're gonna be signing out peace